Hi everyone and welcome prospective students of the Mechanical Engineering Department. This is Valerio Jungo, I'm Associate Professor at UTD and the Principal Investigator of the Windflux Lab. As you see from this slide, our main research interest is wind energy and the source of wind energy, so the atmospheric wind field. Uh, this is a picture that we took unfortunately some time ago in summer 2019 and you see here the motto of our lab. So the idea is to go to the field, observe the evolution of the wind field and what we call wind turbulence, how we can reproduce this kind of flow in our wind tunnel and then develop model or software that can simulate this kind of flow and the energy extraction through wind turbines. So this concept is also summarized in this slide. So you see that we use together synergistically experiments in the wind tunnel. So what you see on the top left. So the idea is to downscale all the wind energy system. And the way we downscale this system is through observation that we do in the field. So we have several instruments that enable us to measure the wind field over real condition. And then, as you see below, try to develop models for simulation and prediction of the wind field and power capture through wind turbines. The challenge is definitely because the wind field in the atmosphere is very complicated, as you see here from this visualization, and also the generation of the waves of this turbine are very complex and they can also interact within a wind park. How the wind interacts with wind turbines and how wind turbine waves interact among them is one of our main research interests. In the field, we use this kind of instrument, which are called wind gliders. So our laser-based instrument that perform measurements of the wind and concentration of the particles suspended in the air of a very large volume with very high resolution. So for the first time, we are able to perform very accurate and detailed measurements about the wind field and the wakes produced by wind turbine. And we can perform many kinds of scans, as you see here, looking from the side of the turbine, looking at the wake, looking at the turbine from the top, or even producing fully 3D reconstruction of the flow. So what I want to emphasize here, that really the domain of this kind of measurements is very large, are several kilometers. And it's always a lot of fun going all the lab. As you see here, we have our UTD mobile LiDAR station with the track and trailer that we travel around US to perform our experiments. For instance, this was done in the North Texas, in the Panhandle area. And once again, the first thing we learn is that these wakes, these blue stripes that you can see here in the video on the right, can be very complicated and vary a lot depending on, on the environmental condition. So during the daytime, there is a lot of turbulence. This wake can be very short and meander a lot. During the night, what you see here on the top left, the wakes can be longer, can generate wake interaction, an issue for power production. So you see these what we call the power losses due to weak interaction can be very high for the total power production from a wind farm. What we learn from the field, we try to embed it in a, in a software to predict the operation of these wind parks and uh, uh, to predict the performance of the turbines. As I mentioned, then we simulate this kind of flow in our wind tunnel. We recently built this wind tunnel which is very long in order to reproduce this kind of flows and as you see here we can reproduce kind of sophisticated flow using our instrumentation and the wind turbine models this is a short video of the construction of the wind tunnel so you can have a better idea what is a wind tunnel so this is the inlet you see with the screens to improve the quality and homogeneity of the flow these are the turning vanes this is the fan, it's 255 kilowatt fan to generate the flow. This is the high speed test section where we can achieve 50 meter per second wind speed. And this is the large boundary layer wind tunnel where we typically perform experiments with wind turbine. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction of the wind flux lab. And we will be happy to answer any question you might have in uh, next session with the open house of the wind flux lab. Thanks for listening. I hope to see you all 
next semester here at UT Dallas. Bye.